you know, while you're in school, while obviously it's important that you should concentrate on your exams, it's also important to gain work experience. And once you're 13 years old, you can, with the consent of the local education authority, your school and parents, and having completed the necessary form, obtain work experience from local employers. And to do that, and, and to be able to put it on your curriculum vitae or CV, will help you gain proper employment when you leave school or even get into university. Um, it was my grandfather who inspired me to become a chartered surveyor when I was 16 years old and what I did was I went to the College of Estate Management it was, as it was then called which became part of Reading University. I also applied to go to the Royal Agricultural College at Sirencester because I started off on the rural side with the Forestry Commission and that was a wonderful job. I was responsible for an area of Mid Wales mostly doing rural property management for example uh, looking after the forest worker houses, the forest offices, garage workshops, various small holdings and farms. Um, I got promoted within the Forestry Commission but due to family circumstances left them to join the Property Services Agency back in Wales where I was responsible for the management of the civil and defence estates for the government in Mid Wales. Um, I was involved, for example, on the Senate Bridge training area in uh, supervising contractors, um, spreading lime and controlling bracken uh, so that the military had a better facility to work, uh, to, to, tra to train on. After that I moved to Mid Glamorgan County Council and there I was dealing with the compulsory acquisition of property for various uh, council requirements, particularly road schemes, education, uh, social services. Um, after that I, I moved to the Inland Revenue Valuation Office where I was doing the rating of property uh, for local taxation and also compulsory purchase for housing associations and valuation of hospitals for the health estate. After that I moved to a district council in South Wales and was responsible for reporting to committee uh, as regards the council's property estate and we sold a, a lot of property releasing funds to manage and maintain our operational property. Um, when I was 50 I, I took retirement and set up my own company Be Valued Limited where I'm mainly doing home buyers reports for people uh, buying houses obviously. Um, so um, one as a chartered surveyor could be involved with the valuation of many types of, of property. Um, it could be offices or uh, shops, factories, homes, um, public utilities uh, such as schools, hospitals and so forth. Um, the valuations could be for many purposes. They could be for the acquisition of property whether it be a freehold purchase or a leasehold. And of course, uh, during the cu currency of a lease, rent reviews may need to be assessed and leases become due for, to be renewed. And th all those issues require the expertise of the valuer. Also, property will be sold and needs to be valued then. <clears throat> um, it may be necessary to value property for taxation purposes e.g. on death for probate or inheritance tax or again on, on the sale of a property um, for capital gains tax purposes and of course for rating local taxation. Um, it may be necessary to value small sections for example of rural property where there's a pipeline to go across. Valuations might be needed for other purposes as well. For example in a development uh, case or scenario. Um, here the client will want to know what the end product will be worth. Maybe it's a, a new housing site for example. <clears throat> Sometimes where there's a dispute then valuers for the opposing sides will be preparing evidence for court as expert witnesses 
in accordance with the RICS guidance note uh, on giving expert, witness, uh, expert evidence. <clears throat> now there's another couple of uh, sites which might interest you um, as a, a young person aspiring to become a Chartered Surveyor and that's the Chartered Surveyor Training Trust and also the Asset Skills website where um, there is the opportunity of getting an apprenticeship with Chartered Surveyors. Now in fact is a very opportune time to become a, a Chartered Surveyor. Uh, the RICS has recently commissioned an independent report from Dr Una MacDonald. Um, the reason for this was that uh, the returns or fees to be gained by valuers from doing particularly mortgage valuation work, particularly residential mortgage value work, have been falling, while on the other hand the costs of the professional indemnity insurance have been increasing and the market has uh, become, many said, dysfunctional. And so this report uh, is to look at the situation and to make recommendations. And of course one of the recommendations is that the age profile of chartered valuation surveyors is all wrong and that we need to have more young people coming into the profession to do this sort of work. So to be um, in the RICS you need to be a member of the Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyors which is MRICS. Uh, the other designationary, designatory title is FRICS, a fellow of the Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyors. <clears throat> Now the, the RICS is divided up into three main groups, land, property and construction, though there's likely to be some overlap between those three groups. And within each of those three groups there's various professional groups, for example uh, valuation or residential uh, surveying. <clears throat> Most people who want to become a member of the Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyors, go to university and take what's called an RICS Cognate degree. And if you look at the RICS website, you'll see what courses are recognised by them. And there's many in the United Kingdom and several abroad as well. Once you've got um, the RICS Cognate degree, then you can get help with finding a job through various job agencies. The RICS itself advertises some jobs on their website but there's specialist uh, groups called Hayes Construction for example and also McDonald's who advertise jobs. Now McDonald's do an annual survey of salaries and benefits which chartered surveyors might receive. And if you were to become a Chartered Valuation Surveyor, their latest survey shows that on average they're achieving about £40,000 a year. Indeed, the last lad that I took on um, left me almost a year ago uh, to achieve that sort of salary plus a pension and company car. Once you've obtained your RICS Cognate degree, you'll be looking for employment uh, with an employer who's got an RICS approved training plan so that you can start and complete your assessment of professional competence which is likely to take about two years. To do this you could uh, look at the central government department, departments like the Valuation Office Agency Council, uh, contact the Chief of State Surveyor, or get on to a website, uh, ricsfirms.com, and find out uh, which firms are in your area. Gaining the uh, MRICS could open up doors worldwide for you. Indeed, my professional indemnity insurance allows me to value property throughout the world, uh, USA and Canada excluded, though you'll understand that I'm just working in South Wales and South West England. The 
RICS is divided into regions in the United Kingdom and each uh, region has its regional training officer and it's uh, sensible for you to ask them um, and seek their guidance. Um, the RICS also, quite rightly, introduced a technical grade of membership, which is now called ARICS. Uh, there's some university courses which lead to that, and um, if you do get the ARICS, it may also lead to becoming a, a professional member of, of, of the RICS with extra appropriate experience. But like with all uh, jobs or career paths, um, you need to think about what opportunities it might give you um, because it's likely that as a technical member of the RICS you'd be able to do less than if you were a full professional member. Now in conclusion, um, whether I've persuaded you to become a Chartered Valuation Surveyor or whether I've completely put you off, may I wish you all the best in your future chosen career. Thank you.